Coaching your way locally to millions. That's the topic of today's show. This is Todd Toback, and I want to welcome you to the No Limits Real Estate Investing Podcast. If this is your first time into the show, and whether you are scratching and clawing your way to your first deal, or you're trying to scale your business to seven figures, head on over to nextlevelwholesaling.com. I have an awesome tool there for you. Basically, it's an assessment, and it's going to rate you in the four core areas of your real estate investing business. Even if you're brand new, this is phenomenal. And I did it because I wanted to grow my business month after month after month after month, and I wanted to see where, where I really needed to go, what I needed to and so if you go to nextlevelwholesaling.com, you take the assessment, it takes 10, 15 minutes, you are going to see from black and white now to Technicolor, right? You're going to be like, wow, I'm doing great here. I'm doing great here. Oh, this is the one thing that I need to fix to really get to that next level, okay? You're going to get that out of this assessment. Go to nextlevelwholesaling.com, totally free, 10 to 15 minutes, and you're going to see your profits start to explode after you implement what you hear in this thing. So nextlevelwholesaling.com. All right. So today's a different episode. And if you're brand new, by the way, you actually could impl implement this. Um, if you are already doing deals, man, I would definitely think about placing this in your business. I'm going to start today by a true story from the battlefield, right? In the trenches, this actually happened and it's because uh, I did it. <laughs> so back in 2008, I was doing real estate deals. I was a solopreneur and I had a mentor tell me that I should coach people locally to do deals with me. And I am like, okay. And he's like, and you should charge people to train them and do deals with you. And I'm like, what? You know, like who's going to pay me and who's going to listen to me? And, you know, why are they going to even listen to me? I was only doing deals for a few years, right? And he says, believe me, you know way more than them. You have the confidence, you have the experience. Even if you've done one deal, right? You know, you can do this. They want leadership and you could charge for this. And he says, Todd, not only could you charge for it, you must charge for it. And he, I said, how much should you charge? He says, a minimum of 500 bucks. He goes, you could charge up to 5,000, but you could start at 500 bucks. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm totally nervous. I'm totally outside of my comfort zone. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I, you know, we went back and forth and thought of some ideas. And this was back in 2009, Craigslist was really big. So I wrote a quick ad and said, hey, my name is Todd Toback. I do local real estate deals. You know, here's how I do them. And here's a little bit how the mechanics work. And if you want to join me, I need to expand my team. I want to do more deals. I'll train you. We do deals together. We'll make a bunch of money. Send me an email if you're interested. Okay, so I put that on Craigslist and oh my gosh, I got a lot of responses. So I responded back and I was doing this all manually by myself, right? I responded back and I got everyone to meet me at a FedEx Kinko's at the time. Now, uh, FedEx is bought Kinko's, the copy and print shop, but it was called FedEx Kinko's back then. And they had a conference room that you could rent for 50 bucks and they had, you know, these tables in there that were conference room tables that were plastic and they weren't anything special. Again, $50 to rent the room. And I had 12 or 15 people show up and man, I was nervous. Didn't know what I was going to say. Wasn't good at public speaking. I, you know, didn't know if people were going to think that I was real or wanted to help them. And so my goal was like, you know what? I'm just going to bring value. I'm going to educate. I'm going to tell people what I do and how I can help them and how the program is going to work. So I'm literally shaking. I throw something together on the oldest version of PowerPoint you could think of. <laughs> Hooked it up to a uh, projector at the time. And back then these things were like giant. I think I rented it from Kinko's. I think they charged me like another 50 bucks to rent the projector. And uh, I did the presentation and I had 12 people there and I charged $500 to work with me after I did my presentation, explained how we could work together, answered questions, gave a lot of value. And about seven out of the 12 said, Todd, I want to work with you. I want to do deals locally, right? You show me how to find the motivated sellers. You help me close the deals and we'll split deals. So here's how I set this up. I said, for your first three deals, you give me, uh, I'll give you 25% of the deal. I'll keep 75%. After that, for the next year, we split everything 50-50. So obviously that was a good deal for them. It was a good deal for me. I'm not worried about creating competition. And out of that portion, by the way, I think I made 3,500 bucks, right? For bringing those seven people on. So then I got a free conference calling service from free conference call 
Com. I trained everyone twice a week for 30 minutes on a conference call. We went over the script and we role played and we talked about leads and they, people were just cold calling out of the newspaper and off Craigslist and off uh, some different websites at the time. I think like realtor.com, uh, you know, they didn't have a lot of the same websites back then. And all of a sudden we started to get leads and we started to do deals, right? <laughs> about three or four weeks in, I got our first deal. This one was in Ocean, Ocean Beach and her, uh, a girl brought it to me. Her name was Lindsay and she actually was really into wine and wanted to make more money. And we made $36,000 on that deal. So Lindsay, thank you. Uh, we did another one in Oceanside and this deal was uh, on Saddlehorn, I believe. And I think we made $38,000 on that one. That one actually was a lease option. So there was some lease and lease backs. And then um, we eventually sold that to a buyer and made about $38,000. And then another deal we did in El Cajon is a condo, uh, two one, and we made about $25,000 on that deal, right? This again, no marketing out of pocket, all for people who paid me. I gave 25% of the deal to the three people who brought me. I think the person who brought me the condo, his name was Sam. You notice these people stick, right? You know, because I invested in them and they invested in me and they got an education and they learned how to make some money. It was really, really, really cool. And I was really insecure. But as we went on, I started to build confidence. Well, long story short, over time, I started to repeat this monthly, except I used to have it now at a hotel. And so and then I started to charge 5,000 and people were paying it. So I didn't go right to 5,000. I started charging 2,500 and then 5,000, but at 5,000, still a lot of people signed up. We got them rolling. We were doing deals and it was a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal program. Win-win all around. Got to train a bunch of people, create great relationships. Some of them who I still talk to today and we still do some form of this right now. Here's the great part. I had really virtually no overhead except for the conference room that I, that I rented. I did have the overhead of the hotel once I went to the hotel. But then these, basically these people were paying me to get started. I even financed some of them. Some of them didn't have 5,000 up front. So some of them, I took two payments of 2,500, but that's not the most important part. It was working. And I had people who wanted to work in the business and I was educating them and we are doing deals. Now, let me bring up another point here is that this is a great alternative to not hiring sales reps. If you don't want like a bunch of employees in your office and you want to work with entrepreneurial people who you don't have to manage, this is a phenomenal way to scale and expand. Works phenomenally, right? And you don't have to have done 30 deals. You just have to know more than the people who you're working with so that you can pour into them. If you're listening to this podcast on a regular basis, you know more than most people. Okay. So, um, the interesting part about this is that if you don't want to hire sales reps and you do this, some of these people may eventually become your sales reps, right? So it's the people who go on their own and do a lot of deals. They're very entrepreneurial. Some of these people may be great workers and they think they want to be entrepreneurial, but then they realize, hey, you know what? I need someone to generate leads for me, right? And they may come on to become one of your sales reps. So my first sales rep, Brian, he was originally interested in becoming a, um, you know, kind of like one of these bird dogs. Right? That's what they call someone who brings you deals. But he eventually, again, turns into an acquisition rep on my team. And we work together for over seven years, still work together in some capacity. All right. So here's how I would do this today. You're like, Todd, that's great. How, you know, how do I do this right now? Well, number one, I'd pick a platform to advertise what you do. Okay. I'd write an ad about, hey, you know, my name is so and so investor. I do deals in this market. Here's how I do them. Here's how we make money. And I'm interested in expanding a team. And I'd like to work with you. We need someone to find leads and work leads. I'll help you close them, use my knowledge, contacts, cash, whatever it is. We could both make money together. I would structure it the same way. I'd give up 25% of the deal for the first three. Then I'd split everything 50, 50 for a period of time. If they're totally autonomous and bringing you just deal sign contract and everything, and that, you know, this is down the line and taking very little of your time, then maybe I'll do 25 or 30% that I'd keep right all on the value and the time that's created in that relationship. Okay. I picked the platform to advertise. You could use Facebook. You could do social media. Now you could try Craigslist um, on the jobs board. If you write the ad the, the right way, uh, you could do meetups, right? You could partner with other people with meetups, right? Who have a platform, the RIAs, you could do the same exact thing. Very, very important. Okay. Next is you have a uh, webinar you could have, or 
you could do a Facebook Live like meeting, or you could do an in-person meeting, preferably. An in-person meeting, preferably, your results are going to definitely go up. You're going to see people eye to eye. They're going to get to know, like, and trust you because they should, because you're going to bring value. Obviously, if you're not going to bring value to them, don't do this, right? But I'm assuming because you're listening to this, you are. So bring the value, see eye to eye to them, let them ask questions, do your presentation, create a program on a PowerPoint, talk about the deals you've done, bring the credibility there, right? Answer the questions and charge money. Now, if you're like, Todd, I'm going to do this, but I don't want to charge. Forget it. Shut off this podcast right now. This is over. You're wasting your time. Okay. I'm telling you this right now. I know that you may be out of your comfort zone, not charging, but charging equals A, you getting paid for your time and two, commitment from the other side. Okay. Very important. Okay. Charging equals a two-sided commitment. Number one is they are going to be more committed because they paid and you're looking for the deals from this, not necessarily upfront fee. Okay. And two is that you are going to be paid upfront. The majority of people who pay you, okay, aren't going to do much. I'd say about 20% of people who pay you are going to go out and absolutely crush it. And so you have to make sure that you're paid for that extra time. All right. That 20% though, whoever wants training, you invest, 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 invest in these people. And it will come back in droves. If you're uncomfortable about charging, okay, get over it and make it happen. Next, have a regular group coaching schedule. This is important. I'd recommend twice a week for the local program. The key is group. Uh, you want to eliminate one-on-ones whenever possible. Have people on twice a week. Uh, you can use free free conference calling dot uh, com, or you could do a Zoom or a meetup. Uh, just make sure you've got full control over who comes in and who doesn't. Okay, give people uh, low resistance to send you deals. So people need leadership, right? There's a lot of information out there, and they don't know what's next. So if let's say you give them the script and say, hey, listen, if someone meets this criteria, this, this, and this, send the lead, right? If they want to sell and they have some distress, then send that lead and say, email it here or put it to this web form into our CRM or text it to this number, whatever it is, give them clear directions and criteria for your deals. If it doesn't fit, then bring that to the coaching program and say, hey, I really appreciate you submitting this lead from XYZ. This doesn't meet the criteria. Why not? Here's how we have to do it next time. Recoaching. Now, as you do this, man, you're going to have some successful people. Make sure you get the testimonials from them. Play those testimonials at the uh, your meetings so that new people can see that, right? It brings energy and I'll start to create a little community and a nice team with those people. And also uh, the social proof between you and them. It's going to build the bond. Okay, now this is not this is not for everybody. Okay. It's not for everybody. Some of you want to expand. You don't want sales rep. This is a phenomenal way to do this. If you don't want to bring on an acquisition specialist, you can do both. One of my good friends, uh, Michael Jake out of Colorado Springs has done this a bunch and expanded his business through partnerships. He's gone through charging and not charging. For me, I can tell you charging is absolutely the way to go. And my recommendation to you, if you're saying, Todd, I want to do this and I want to coach for free. I'm going to tell you, you're going to be spinning your wheels right? You're going to be spending a lot of time with a lot of people who don't have commitment. That 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 $2,500 or that $500, or that $500, $500 that people spend is really, really, really going to show you who is dedicated. So I hope you get out of your comfort zone. I hope you build a local coaching program, and I hope it's going to make your business do a high six, seven, maybe even eight figures here this upcoming year. Go out there and crush it. Make sure you go to no limits real estate investing.com forward slash script if you're looking for the script. Or if you want to take that assessment, go to nextlevelwholesaling.com and I will talk to you on the next episode.